All right, let's start by giving our praises to the Most High, whose true name in Hebrew is Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, whose true name in Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit, which is a Rakak Wadash, double honors to the elders and apostles, and the Holy Spirit, who taught us His truth, honors to the brethren, doing the work to push the gospel, risking their life and freedom to do so, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the true Israelites who will be seeking their salvation by returning back to the Most High, which will be the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians. So we'll be back with another lesson through the power and spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Not sure what I'm going to title this lesson, but it's going to be concerning those who are sent. Again, those who are sent by the Heavenly Father. Now, we're going to play this video uh, from some brothers in GMS, they had an encounter with an angel, picked it up on camera. Angel was standing behind him the whole time. They didn't even notice. But I'm going to do more lessons on this because a bunch of stuff came to mind as I saw this. But the angel saluted the camera, the listeners and the speakers, and, and dipped out when a certain point was made. So we probably get a few minutes of this, and then we're going to get to that point. Some have entertained angels unaware, man. All right? The scriptures is 100% is real and true. Okay? And I truly believe that this was an angel of the Lord. Okay? You can believe what you want to believe out there. All right? A brother on the comment board of the live stream pointed it out. All right. Okay, he's getting ready to salute out. He's going to send that gesture. Okay. Now I'm going to let it. I'm going to play and let this last little bit play, all right? Because I believe the brother said you have to be sent by the Heavenly Father. And that's when he gives the salute and, and, and uh, departs, all right? And then, then I'll grab a couple of scriptures. The Lord, ain't, the Lord ain't dealing with you, man. You, know, you ain't got no special place where it's, it's this little place on earth. It's the kingdom, and everything is ran in righteousness and you know what I'm saying? You still going to hell. You still got to wake up and go to work. You yeah. still got uh, uh, ailments. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Your yeah. wife still talking that bull yeah. to you. All of it. All of it. All of it. That's what it has is. Like, nigga, you ain't sent. That's it, bro. You got to be sent by your hobble by shot. We ain't yeah, talking about God. We you saw it. And it's like he looked directly at the camera and got on. We're going to replay that. Go to work. You yeah. still got uh, uh, ailments. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Your yeah. wife still talking that bull yeah. to you. All of it. All of it. All of it. That's what it has is. Like, nigga, you ain't sent. That's it, bro. You got to be sent by your hobble by Shemar Shai. We ain't talking. See, he dipped. Like, okay, the point was made. I'm going to leave on that note. Like the brother said, you got to be sent. And, and that's what it's all about. Here in these last days, before the return of Yahweh Shah. Because this is the time when the Lord was sending out his servants, the prophets, the true men of the Lord, to gather the sheep. But we're going to get this Roman 10 and 15. How shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. And this will be those who preach this gospel of the kingdom. Um, and it said, how should they preach except they be sent? So what separates what we do from the rest of the world who also use the Bible to speak on things? We'll separate this from other movements from the past, different trends, different gatherings, what separates what we do from that? It's because we were sent. 
what separate us from the Christian church? We were sent. Them Christian pastors, they inspired to be pastors as a young boy, as a teenager, as a younger thought, young adult. They thought to themselves, I want to be a pastor one day or when I grow up. Well, the true men of the Lord, the true servants, the prophets, the preachers, the pastors whom the Lord was sent, they would be sent out. And to be sent somewhere is to be given orders from an outside authority. For example, let's say you on your way somewhere. You got your own plans. But your mom or your girl call you and send you to the store. You're like, man, I don't know why I'm here. Well, you know, now I'm here. You were sent. And that's the case with the true men of the Lord in the last days. We will be sent. Those, the, the men who bring you this truth, this was not as an understanding. We didn't dream of doing this one day. This, this wasn't what we thought we would be doing in 2024. We all had our own dreams, plans that we was pursuing but look now we here because we were sent you know the christian church they weren't sent by the most high that's something they did on their own the black panther movement you know whatever else is out there you know they wasn't sent by the most high so to be sent meaning means that we was given orders to do what we're doing now Meaning what? It is not of our own will. It's the will of a higher authority. All right, so we got this word sent in the Blue Letter Bible, and we're going to go into that. Strong's G649, Apostello. Apostello. Strong's G649, Apostello. Apostello. You see, it says right there to order. How should they preach except they be sent? Well, those who will be sent to preach, they was ordered to preach, meaning they were commanded to preach. To go to a place appointed. What's that appointed place? Well, not only those who will be sent to preach the gospel, they will be sent to an appointed place at an appointed time, primarily here in America during the last days, during the reign of Esau Edom, which is the fourth beast, the red dragon, the last empire to have rulership over the earth before the return of Yahweh Shah. Even when you think about the statue in the book of Daniel, what was the last kingdom? It would be the legs that would be mixed with iron and clay. And as we go down to read, it says to send away. So we were sent or, or ordered to carry out a particular task here on the earth. And then even when we go down here to the Strong's definition, um, it's going to take me a minute to highlight. But it says to send out properly on a mission. So when, when the brother said, you know, that these other guys ain't sent, but you got to be sent from the Heavenly Father. Yeah, the Lord will send you on a particular mission in the last days. So the men that's bringing you this truth, you know, we left families, careers, um, careers of being an athlete or entertainer, a rapper. You know, we left the world behind to carry out to finish the mission that the Lord sent us on. And it will be to gather his elect because it's the elect who's going to be gathered from the nuclear destruction. You know, that salvation. That's a, that's a very heavy task gathering the elect. The scriptures tell you that we will be scattered from one end of the earth to the other, to the four corners of the earth. Not to mention we will look like the other nations. So the Lord really got foot soldiers out here preaching his word that nobody want to hear. So 
how shall they preach except they be sent? Meaning that what? We were ordered to go to a particular place at a particular time. To what? To carry out a mission. And, you know, you got a lot of our people who may know of the truth. They may be believers on the truth, but they still not 100% convinced. They still not fully persuaded. They waiting on the sidelines trying to see how things play out before they decide to take it more serious. Well, that kind of mentality is going to get you caught up in the nuclear destruction. You know, I think it's the book of Matthew, the 16th chapter that says Israel require a sign. Well, that's a strong sign right here on these brothers camp and the brothers is doing lessons on it. Not to mention brothers have chariots flying by at the camps. The camera just so happened to pick it up. But this right here, not only were we sent, but the holy angels were sent. So we're going to go to the next precept. We're going to go to the book of John, chapter 6, verse 38. For I came down from heaven, not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. Who is this speaking? Yahweh Shai. Because what? He literally came down from the spiritual world um, to finish the mission. The Lord was sent out to the earth to finish the mission, which that's in the scriptures too. And then when you go up, you know, Yahweh Shah was ordered to go to an appointed place, Jerusalem, at an appointed time, over 2,000 years ago, to an appointed people, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Well, guess what? We 2,000 some years later are appointed to go to the same people not just in Jerusalem, but throughout all of the earth. That's why this is such a heavy mission. And that's what separates this from Christianity. Um, whatever niggas is doing these days, whatever niggas partake in, and I really don't know. I'm out of touch with what niggas do these days, what they believe in, what they speak about, what they think about, what separates what we do here from what the rest of the world is doing is that we were sent by the Heavenly Father. And again, it's again, for I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. Guess what? You know, we the sons of God too. Psalms 82 and 6. So guess what? We were sent down from heaven as well. You know, at an appointed place, America, at an appointed time. You know, from 1969 to now. You know, whatever year you came to the truth and started doing the work. Even if you don't teach, guess what? If you believe, you still doing the work. And we're going to show that in the scripture. So we came down from the heaven, you know, here in earth. To do the will of the heavenly father. Him that sent us, not our own will. That's why we had dreams. Um, career interests, different things we pursued. Either it didn't pop off or things took too long. The Lord was really putting our life on hold until we was activated by the Holy Spirit to partake in his mission that he sent us here for. You know, Brother Brothers was on sports teams, degrees. That, that wasn't our purpose. No matter how good you were at whatever you were pursuing, Whatever you gave your time and energy to, that wasn't your purpose. This is our purpose here. So, Yahweh Shai came down from heaven, but guess what? We as well. Not to do our will, but the will of him that sent us. Him that ordered us to do a particular thing at a particular time. Speaking to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But when we go to Matthew 15 to 24. But he answered, who is this? Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Jesus. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That was, you know, at his coming, 
you know, 2,000 years ago. Well, guess what? Yahweh Shai is the author and finisher of our faith. He completed his course 2,000 years ago. Well, 2,000 years later, we now finish in our course. So, again, to be sent, <clears throat> down here at the bottom, it reads, to send out on a mission. Well, the Lord was sent on a mission to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. We on that same mission to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And when you take this word sent, it reads to order to go to, in the, to a place appointed. So we're sent to an appointed place at an appointed time to an appointed people. You know, the Lord sent us out with very strict instructions that's laid out in the, in the Holy Scriptures. This is, so this is Yahweh Shai. He said, me myself, I'm not sent but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Well, what about those that will come after? You can read that in Matthew 10 and 5. These 12, Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded. What's another word for commanded? An order. Saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So the Lord, Yahweh Shai, the Son of God himself, was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and those who will come after Yahweh Shai. Whether it was the twelve disciples two thousand years ago, or after it be the, the disciples, the, the apostles, the prophets two thousand years later. They will go again to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So, Yahweh Shai sent out 12 back then. Well, Yahweh Shai sent out 12 again in this lifetime. 12 times 12,000. When you read the book of Revelation, the seventh chapter, that he will send um, 12,000 from each of the 12 tribes to gather the lost sheep by the house of Israel. And then when we hit John 6 and 29, Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, this is the work of Yahweh, the work of the Most High, that you believe on him whom he hath sent. So back then, they were instructed to believe on Yahweh Shai. Then after Yahweh Shai is coming, they were to believe on the apostles. So that's the work of the Most High. And that's why I said, you know, even the believers that don't teach, they still doing a very important work. And what is that work? Believing on the men whom Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai has sent out here in the last days. Because the scripture said that the Lord will send men again in the last days. And we're going to get to that. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, you know, rather it's the, the, the true believers, the, the true servants, the prophets that's teaching, you know, the believers, when y'all when believe our words, it's not our words. It's Yahweh Shai's words. So, Yahweh Shai was sent 12 times 12,000 throughout the earth, and that's who you instructed to believe on. Why? Because these men would be sent by Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, we don't mean we will be sent in Yahweh Shai's place to um to, to to finish the mission, to finish the work of the Lord. And when we get John 14 and 26, but the but the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. So the Holy Spirit will be sent. He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I had said unto you. So rather it's the teachers, the, the, the servants, the prophets, or rather it's just the true believers. You know, we would ultimately be taught indirectly by the Holy Spirit, who will be taught by men, you know, who was given the Holy Spirit. But again, the Holy Spirit will be sent. You can't just start banging on the drums and the piano and start dancing in the church 
and say you summoned the Holy Spirit. You can't just start shouting in the pool pit and claim you summoned up the Holy Spirit. No, the Holy Spirit is sent. All right, and this is John 3 and 34. For he whom the Most High hath sent, speak of the words of the Most High. For the Most High giveth not the Spirit by measure unto him. So those who would truly be sent by the Lord, they would preach the gospel. Not play a musical instrument, not donate to the homeless, not have a food drive, not be trying to get all people together. You know, somebody would quickly say, man, the Lord must have sent you. Nah, those who would truly be sent by the Lord would speak the words of the Lord at an at a appointed place, at an appointed time, to an appointed people. All right, so when we now go to the book of 1 Corinthians 4 and 9, there's some heavy points here. For I think that Yahweh has set forth us the apostles last, as it were appointed to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world, and to angels, and to men. Let's read this first part. For I think that Yahweh has set forth us apostles last. Or in other words, the Lord was sent forth the apostles last. So set or sent. Kind of the same word in this case. Anyways, the apostles will be sent last. Now, the Christian church will read this and think about, yeah, Paul, Peter, James, Jude. Yeah, they were sent out last. No, this it's not only talking about back then. It's more so talking about now. Because the true apostles, the servants, the prophets, the, the preachers, the pastors whom the Lord was sent to feed knowledge and understanding, they will be sent forth last. Now, we're going to get this word last in the Blue Letter Bible. Strong's G, 2078, Eschatas, Eschatas. Strong's G, 2078, Eschatas, Eschatas. That's for that word last. For I think that God has set forth us, the apostles, last. And when we get this word last over here at the right, it reads last in time. So what? The Lord was sent forth his apostles in the last days or in place. So they would be sent out last. It reads, last in a series of places. And when you think about the four beasts that represent the four kingdoms that will reign over the earth before the return of Yahweh Shah, well, the apostles, the servants, the prophets, the true men of the Lord will be sent out during the fourth beast or the last beast. It says last in temporal succession. Going into the same thing. The four beasts represent a succession of kingdoms, one after another. The apostles, the servants, the prophets will be sent out during the last beast, during the fourth beast. Last, referring to time, the last days, the end times. It reads, of space, uttermost part. The end of the earth. And, you know, you say now that we in the end of the world as far as a, as a time period. That's true. But we're going to come back to that. It reads of rank, grade of worth. And I don't have the picture on me. I'm going to see if I can put it up on my phone real quick. That word last is heavy, so check this out. When you consider this statue in Daniel, um, the head would be gold, the chest 
would be silver. The waist and torso would be bronze. The legs would be iron and clay. So each different material represents a different kingdom. The head of gold, that would be the Babylonian kingdom. Um, the, the breastplate of silver, that represents the Medes and Persians. And then so on, it represents the brass. And then you got the Roman Empire, which America is modern day Rome. That's represented by the iron and clay. So you see from gold to silver to brass to iron and clay, the worth gets lower and lower and lower. It diminishes, you know, lower in rank. So that's why last it, it speaks about, it speaks about rank, grade of worth, last or lowest. The Roman Empire in America represent the lowest part of the statue. It represent the last part of the statue, which the last part would be the legs. The last part of the body that comes out at birth. Lowest in grade of worth. You know, gold and clay, um, excuse me, iron and clay is pretty cheap compared to the value of gold and silver. And it says rank. This would be the lowest kingdom, you know, morally. So the apostles will be sent out last, you know, during this last Gentile kingdom before the Lord's return, which is now. And just looking back at these examples, um, referring to time, we in the last days, we in the end times, last in time or place. So Yahweh Shai was sent out, then the Holy Spirit was sent out. And then we were sent out. So, yeah, we, we last in place. And we're going to continue with this definition. Eschatos. Eschatos. Something real heavy going to stick out. So, we're going to get this word utter, uh, uttermost. Let me, let me backtrack. So, we're going to get uttermost the end of the earth because America is the end of the earth. When you think about the land masses that was discovered, America was the last land mass to be discovered by the rest of the world. So America is literally the end of the world or the end of the earth. Now check out this word uttermost. It reads the furthest. So going way back to the so-called Middle East, Israel, Jerusalem, what's the farthest place on earth from Israel, Jerusalem? It would be the Americas. And then when we go back here and go down, it reads farthest, final of place or time. America represents that final place or final time. This is the final time when the apostles will be sent out. Ends of, last, latter end, lowest, uttermost. That all represents a, a America. That represents a time and a place. That's America now. And it said what? That we are made a spectacle unto the world. That's why everybody ride by. If you teach him where you should be teaching be. That's why they see us all on the internet. We made a spectacle into the world. And it says to angels. Because going back to the let to the brother's video, this is a spectacle to the angel. He was really right there watching and listening. Then even saluted when a certain point was made. Uh uh ailments. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Your yeah. wife feel Talking that bull yep. to you? All of it. All of it. All dude. of it. That's what has it is. Like, nigga, you ain't sent. That's it, bro. You got to be sent by Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. We ain't. <laughs> Both, see, you got to be sent by Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. And Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai was sent out his messengers now, primarily to America. And when we get Revelation uh, 19 and 10, and I fell at his feet to worship him. John saw an angel. 
And he said unto me, See thou do it not. The angel said, Don't worship me. He says, I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that had the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So what the angel tell John, I'm your fellow servant. Meaning what? I was sent to the same place you were sent. You know, that's why the brother's teaching and the angel in the same place. They were both sent. They both got the testimony. Well, everybody um, that, that got the testimony of Yahweh Shah, you know, we will be like-minded in the same spirit. You know, this, the same doctrine. So we and the angels, we fellow servants. So guess what? The Lord sent us out in these fleshly bodies here in the last days. But guess what? The angels were sent out too. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Angels, they were sent out too uh, to, to, to teach us, to watch over us. So yeah, you know, that that's what separates this from what the rest of the world is doing. We were sent by the Heavenly Father and not just us. The Holy Angels were sent with us to carry out the same task. We do it seen by the eyes of the world. But the angels, they more so working behind the scenes. You may catch a glimpse of them here and there. But we were sent, meaning what? That we were given the same orders. We was ordered by Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai to go to an appointed place at an appointed time to an appointed people. So just like we're on a mission, uh, the angels are on the same mission. You know, we, we, now we may have different tasks, but it's ultimately what? Not to do our will, but to do the will of him that sent us, ultimately being the Most High Yahweh. This is John 13 and 20. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that receiveth whomsoever I send, receive of me. He that receive of me, receiveth him that sent me. So it's all about being sent. It's, it's, all, it's all about being sent. You know, people get offended at us. They get mad. They want to distance themselves. They want to avoid certain conversation. Well, guess what? It's not us you despising. It's the holy angels, Yahweh Shai, and the Most High Yahweh you despising. But guess what? If you believe our words, if you receive us, ultimately it's not us you receiving. It's the holy, it's the Holy Spirit, the holy angels, Yahweh Shai, and ultimately the Most High Yahweh that you're receiving. It just goes down a chain of command. Because you don't see the Most High Yahweh, His Son Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Angels, which are the Holy Spirits, you don't see them physically working with bodily eyes. But you see the men that sent out, you see them working. That's why we made a spectacle unto the world, and to angels, and to men. So by the time you see us working, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai and the Holy Spirits, they didn't already put so much work, you know, behind what we doing. So us being out there doing the work of the Lord, that's a heavy sign too. That That's divine intervention. Because we're not doing our will, speaking our words, but the will and the words of him that sent us. So yeah, th that's the lesson. It's all about being sent. And I thought it was really cool. This angel pulled up on these brothers and dipped out right at that time. 
you know, it's it's, it's all about them who were sent. Because them who were sent along with those who will be gathered by the words they carry, that's who going to make it up out of here. Everybody else going to die. And not many people going to make it out. So that's it for this lesson here. Till next time, Shalom.